gonna be the, the art people are here. The art people are here. That's my favorite. The art people are here, which is fine. And that's what we want. I mean, we want them to enjoy doing art. As the program coordinator for the Arts Empowerment Project, I develop the curriculum that we implement at the YWCA, the different art projects that we bring, and try to really mesh it with Ms. Wanda's curriculum. So they have a reading curriculum that they do, and we try to bring art projects here that go along with some of the things they're working on, um, and also projects that are able to reach the broad range of students that go here. So how to do it, um, we have examples all throughout Today, these young minds are exploring their choices of color while practicing quite a bit of patience as they create a special yarn project using a mix of recycled glass bottles and locally sourced art materials to transform them into beautifully crafted vases. That was fun too because um, you got to pick your own yarn color and um, I picked blue. This is Zanai and her sister Solani. They have participated in every FAF at the YWCA for the past four years. Their connection to the arts has made them stronger and noticeably more creative with their craft. One of my favorite products that we did was terrariums. I like, I enjoyed doing the terrariums because we got to design and pick what we want to put inside the terrariums. I think I have grown in more my creativity, like um, trying to think of better ideas instead of doing the same idea each time and being more creative and doing different designs that I usually don't do. I feel like it impacted me by helping me know more about art and making me feel comfortable doing art around people. Other clients, including youth in grades K through 12, are referred to us and are part of the art programs we create with support from our partnering arts organizations. Collaborative by Design, the Arts Empowerment Project believes in the transformative power of art to inspire children, some of whom are court involved and others who would not otherwise have access to high quality arts and cultural experiences. This is Francis. Francis is a returning student to the annual CPCC culinary camp for four years. She is passionate and driven to learn from one of the best programs in the city. Because of her connection to talented professionals in the culinary arts industry, Francis has been inspired by the people around her and her roots to own a restaurant in the future. Um, well, I definitely see myself hopefully come into CPCC for my two years, then transfer into Johnson & Wells. Then after that, going into like the high-end restaurants and opening my own, hopefully that's the dream, that's the goal. And having a Latin fused with American in it, that's my dream. In addition to our free Art Friday art classes and our culinary boot camps, our Youth Advisory Council's collection of art for heart packs, and our Promoting Peace program with CMPD. The Arts Empowerment Project invites children to connect to their community. It's really exciting to see the growth, especially the growth in confidence, um, the growth in, in skills and understanding of different art forms. Um, it's actually, it's very sad when they get through with fifth grade and they don't come back to the program the following year um, because it is really nice to see that continuation. So seeing them go from not really wanting to do art to enjoying it to feeling confident with it. <music>